Hey guys, and welcome back. Here is more Dustfire 14 for you, and in today's video, Booker and myself discuss the nerfs, particularly the Kaldari nerf, the upcoming Flaylock nerf, and the past heavy nerf. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Booker, take it away. This is uh, Booker and Looker from Server Initiative, your friendly neighborhood bullet sponge. Tonight, talking with Bam. <laughs> Hey Booker, well, welcome back dude, welcome back. Uh, Booker, um, right. the reason why I brought you in uh, uh, today dude is basically talk about nerfs. Um, it, basically nerfs in general and the biggest nerf happening currently to date is uh, the proposed uh, Kaldori Bro Logi nerf um, that's going to happen in Uprising 1.3. Uh, what are your takes on it dude? Um, well, I think this one's not too bad. As far as nerfs go, uh, I think... Um, uh, CCP, uh, I've done the right thing here. Uh, judging by the forums, uh, it would seem that it's broadly um, well received. Yeah, I've um, heard a good few things about the, the nerfs. Okay. Yeah, I think they've been pretty clever with uh, bringing the CPU down, um, and so that I mean that makes it just more more difficult to fit everything for the. The, the basically, the guys who are using the Kaldari Lodge as a frontline assault suit simply had the CPU to fit anything and everything they liked, uh, plus have equipment with them as well. Um, so bringing that CPU down is a really clever trick to, so that they start making the same sort of choices that the rest of us have to make when we're trying to fit our uh, equipment and, uh, 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 and weapons and armor and shields, shields obviously with the Kaldari. Uh, into their CPU uh, allotment, so that's pretty clever. And of course, they've brought down the shield extender uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bonuses as well. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. So, uh, sorry, carry on, carry on. The, carry on. Yeah, no. Well, uh, of course, you know, immediately you get um, some pretty annoyed people on the uh, forums. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> these are the guys who uh, have essentially decided to to exploit. Um, uh, an obvious uh, exploitable uh, thing within the uh, dust and, and use the logi, uh, the Kaldari logi as a frontline assault. Uh, now, if you're going to take something that I think to 99% of the um, uh, dust uh, population, we were pretty sure that that was going to get a nerf. Uh, it was just too good at everything. It outdid Substitutes had its own job, and that's just that just doesn't work well for the game. Uh, no, so that was always going to get. And, uh, and, and I'm sorry if, if you thought you were being clever by exploiting uh, this and, and putting all your skills into logic skills uh, because you wanted to be an assault player. Then I think you've, you've pretty much got what you what was coming yeah, to. Really? Yeah, um, you your own seeds there. Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. You know, and, uh, and, uh, and they've beat on uh, saying, and oh, I want to respec on the floor. I'm like, get a life, dude, really, you know, shit. <laughs> <laughs> have to go back okay. and um, uh, yep. skill into uh, their assault class like they should do in the first place. Uh, but in the future, um, when their squad needs an, uh, a, a lodge in, a short of a player, you'll be able to say, hey, yeah, I've got more dodgy skills than you can throw a hairy sticker. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll change the suit, you see, I'm, I'm, I can multitask. So there'll be a, a silver lining for those guys, for sure. They'll, be, <laughs> they'll have more than one skill they can use. So, yeah, 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 that's they really cool for them, really. They're the uh, Kaldari Lodge, you do that. Actually, um, buffing the Amor Lodge, aren't they? With, um, uh, with uh, a, few, a few bits yeah. and pieces. They're giving it a, an extra um, second weapon slot in advance. They're, um, they're buffing one or two, two features. Uh, you know, what do you think? I think it's a good idea. I the, really the, do. They're bringing it, it up to speed. Well, the Amar, the Amar, the Amar logic was a great idea, and, and but it was only kind of like um, uh, done properly at its proto level, which you know, that's, a, that's a long time into a suit, uh, skilling into a suit before you get what it's what it's supposed to be its thing, so to speak. Um, so lowering the point at which you get its uh, uh, additional equipment slot, which is at advanced level, and its main thing, which is the sidearm slot for a Logi at standard tier, uh, is, is a cracking good idea. I think yeah. the Amar Logi just was barely used. It really didn't have... Because, it, 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 you know, we, uh, some people perhaps do run Proto Gear every single game they play, but I, I find that too expensive. I lose yeah, too many far, lives. I'm not good enough. too expensive. I'm uh, running around. Yeah, too expensive. <laughs> 
so um, you know, it's, it's, it's the people who want to who wanted to skill attack couldn't get their their side arm until pro level, which was kind of crazy for them. Uh, so um, yeah, that's uh, I'm really pleased that they've done that with the MR. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, I think it's quite interesting now that they've uh, unlocked the side arm fit um, at the standard level. Now the Amarology guys can uh, fit uh, the Freylock pistol and go uh, Freylocking everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, well, <laughs> at least for a little while, I think. Um, there are some sweet, sweet tears ahead for the Gay Lockers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gay Lockers! <laughs> <laughs> right, fuck it, I'm done! Bye, I'm done, I'm leaving, I'm out, bye! <laughs> Love it, gay lockers. Uh, love it, love it. I, I, <laughs> I, sorry, I don't, I don't mean, I don't mean to assault all those people that actually use the the, the play um, I do. I think, I think, it, <laughs> I think it's it's most fervent supporters uh, would quite readily admit it, it's an extremely powerful, especially as a sidearm weapon. Um, uh, and there's been some um, hints from devs on the forums that. Uh, having a look at it, and I think it will, it will get, uh, I think, uh, a nerf. Uh, it's just a case of whether it gets um, a little Smurf nerf or a or a great big massive sledgehammer nerf. So, yeah, yeah. You see, they brought the sledgehammer you know, nerf down too much on the heavy six because obviously the heavy still hasn't recovered from that initial killer smash with that nerf hammer. I agree. They mustn't bring it down too hard. They must just tap it. Click. You know, a little left tap. Forthcoming Flaylock nerf, well, it's very tempting for them to go, well, let's just take 25% of the damage and be done with it. And, and, and then you end up with that seesaw effect or the fact that the, the, the weapon never recovers from it. I mean, it may just be it needs its splash damage reducing or, or a little little bit of range taken off it. I mean, I, I don't personally use uh, Flaylock, so it's, it's hard for me to give a, um, a rock solid, you know, what would be a good nerf for it. But something needs to be do, done with it. It's, it's, it's an extremely difficult to, to deal with, um, which is fine, but again, it, it just needs refining a little bit. And it's a new weapon, so uh, that's fair enough. And I, and I hope CTP uh, does it uh, sensibly. Um, I, I, a point on that is the fact that clearly they probably over nerfed the lasers because I, I, I didn't even realize they were missing until literally yeah. yesterday yeah. I got somebody yeah. shot at me <laughs> shot at me with a laser uh, and I haven't <laughs> seen a laser in uprising I literally haven't seen I forgot that they were even a weapon in the game because um, considering how prevalent they were before uprising and how massively overpowered they were I mean they were um, <laughs> they were the the, the playlock of its time. Um, <laughs> they they clearly did something to it that really hurt it a lot. Again, a laser wasn't something I used, so it wasn't. Some, I, I was on the receiving end and was very pleased to see their demise. But you shouldn't nerf something so much that it disappears completely. Um, I, I can only imagine some people have put some skills into lasers while using other weapons so that get the protons worth using. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens if you sledgehammer nerf something. Yeah. Uh, right. And like, and like you said, the, uh, the the heavy took some pretty heavy blows in previous uh, builds, um, and, and still I, I don't think it is fully recovered from where it should be at. Nerf, yeah. no, no. It hasn't. No. I agree. I yeah, mean, the, the durability of the heavy, the, as, as you have said, the base, the base uh, armor and uh, shield of the heavy. assault rifles, scramblers and lasers now because you you know I have also noticed one or two uh, lasers and making a comeback or you're just going to be shot in the back of the face because one you're too slow yeah. two <laughs> you can't turn very quickly because you're a heavy you know therein lies the heavy's problem slow cantankerous laborious yeah. well the the speed um, deficit in a heavy suit is, is a massive massive deficit uh, it, it, it cannot over over emphasize how much that affects the gameplay of a heavy, and that's and that's how it should be. 
Um, I'm, I'm a, and I'm not talking about the fact that um, the HMG has been overnourished or, or the forge gun has been overnourished, or the, you know, the weapons are heavy used. I think the HMG may be slightly short on a little bit of range. It seems really quite short at the moment, but um, otherwise, uh, you know, fine and dandy. It's the suit itself. I just think it should have more durability yes. so that it can stand it. It can stand its ground. It can take uh, a lot more pounding than it gets, but it doesn't necessarily just chew through everything that surrounds it. Because um, I think that's where people don't feel uh, um, think that, like, the heavy gets overpowered is when you can't kill it and it kills you very easily. Well, I'm not saying that it needs to kill you easily, more easily than it does now. I'm just thinking that the its survivability, it's its main, it's it's supposed to be a walking tank, and it clearly isn't anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's nothing know, like that at all. You can a militia it's, shotgun, three rounds of militia shotgun, and I'm not joking, can bring down my friend. One shot in the head, oh, yeah. just throw it up, it's a headshot, it takes max damage, and two shots to the body, and I am out, you know, done. And all that, all that, all that scout's doing is um, bunny hopping around me, you know, um, and shoot me. And because I can't keep up with his turds, he's jumping over my arcs, and he's just burying me, and, and that's how they do it. The heavy is the noob killer because all the noobs are going, Oh, a heavy! Oh, run away! Meanwhile, the front players are walking in there, like, Yeah, free kill! And they just go motherfucker down. You know? And, and that's what happens. Yeah. It's, 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 it's painful. <laughs> it's painful. Well, yeah, I mean, so that, that's what happened if you, I mean, that, that nerf hammer was swung a long time ago, and it's, it's had a couple of buffs since, but I, just, I don't think it's back to where it should be. No, um, I agree, totally uh, agree. Uh, and, I, and I think, uh, I think CCP is, is just, it's starting to realise, and it's got better at, uh, like they have with the uh, Logi uh, information they've given us, putting it out there and saying, this is what we're going to do, let's discuss it. Yes. And, uh, and I think in this case it's been fairly favourable. I've reported part of the obviously uh, 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 poor darling assault lodges, yeah, <laughs> who um, uh, want their want their respects. Uh, <laughs> unlikely, sorry guys. I was reading the forum saying we demand a respect, and I'm like, hold on a minute, what? I think it was, we demand CPS and deserve. Oh, oh, and <laughs> we deserve. demand and deserve. <laughs> yeah. that, no, that's uh, just wrong. Sure. I honestly think that Dust and CCP are trying to be as transparent as possible with the upcoming update. I really think they, they are trying. Um, just I think they've, they've had their fingers right, well, burnt. This is what we're planning to do. You know, comment on it. Otherwise, they would just say, this is what we're going to do. Or, so you can't then comment on it. Or just do it all together. You know, fucking yeah, I'd I, 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 just be I, thankful that they're actually I, telling us what's actually happening in the game that we play. <laughs> I'm quite thankful. I for think that. they've kind of learned a lesson. They've learned a lesson because uh, they've been, you know, they've been nerfs, uh, really angered people. They didn't know it was coming until it was on. It was basically plonked on the lap. And I think there have probably been a few adjustments been made that if they'd have put it out beforehand and let people discuss them. Uh, they would have uh, had a much different outcome. Uh, I mean, a uh, case in point is, although it wasn't a nerve, um, when they put the information about Planet for Conquest uh, um, before Uprising was uh, implemented, uh, their initial numbers uh, were not the numbers that they went with when Planet for Conquest was released. And that was directly as a result of, of probably the longest thread ever, the threadnought of all threadnoughts on those uh, forums. Uh, that essentially, uh, <laughs> that essentially changed um, the way that uh, CCP actually released the Conquest. Yeah. It conquest. It just goes to show how, how that thing can work, and it can work the same with nerfs. Yeah, uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, you just either you either get seesaw, you get seesaw effect, where you over nerf, over compensate, over nerf, and then it just takes ages to. Yeah, it to takes ages to bring everything back into line. <laughs> you see, but the, not that I'm supporting um, the guys demanding and deserving a respect, but didn't CCP and Dust um, actually say that um, in Dust 514 you can run as a sniper rifle? <laughs> okay, you know, there, oh, yeah. there was actually a video going with a sniper, you know, a, 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 a scout suit with a sniper rifle going pew pew, and then he gets shot in the back, and you obviously he was staged. Okay, and then he said that the guy with the big brass balls and, and the voice with honey in the ears, rrr, 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 rrr. If you don't like that, and then you see the guy switch up to like the Iron Man sort of um, 
the paintwork of, of the heavy, which I think was a, a commando suit, selected a star up and he goes to the same spot and goes, shoo, 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 and, you know, and it comes out totally different because he has a better suit, you know. Yeah. What, what, I don't, what, what, right. what I'm trying to say is that we, don't over-nerf the Kaldori logic, you know. Uh, if you over-nerf it, it'll be like the heavy, um, with, where it's still suffering from it. Yeah, I mean, the, the CCP have got to tread a, um, a tightrope. Uh, yes. You don't want to ruin the, the survivability of your logic too much. I mean, sometimes it's got to go in under fire and, and, and support. So, yeah, you, you need to be able to soak up a, a, some pressure. Um, but at the same time, like I, I think they they are they have said that they intend to change um, the logi uh, bonuses to equipment bonuses, which totally makes sense. Yes, it does. Um, it does. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, but uh, they've got to go over some new technical difficulties before they can bring that out. Yeah. But again, I know the, the point you were making in your um, usual roundabout way, man, <laughs> was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, some of the point, some point. of the appeal of dust <laughs> some of the appeal of dust is that you can use uh, any bit you like on a suit to try and make it fit into any role you want. Yes. And really, if you want to use a heavy suit to be a sniper, uh, that's a great idea. You could take some damage from afar. If somebody discovers you, and you can you can survive. Uh, and snipers are very often sitting in one place a long time, and that's a need to be. Of the blood, you know. However, yeah. you want to, if you want to be um, scout, uh, you could be a sniper, or you could be a shotgunner. You could be, you, you could put all sorts of weird and wonderful mixes together. And what you're saying is that why shouldn't a logic um, guy be a frontline assault if you can make a spit work that way? Uh, there, there's no issue with the fact that if you want to be in a Kaldori logis logistic suit and be a frontline assault. Then you can do that, but you've got to juggle your CPU around. You may have to have uh, lower um, equipment uh, so that you've got less CPU cost. Um, you may not have as many shields as you uh, as a proper assault may have because you've got to compromise in other areas. So that's what then makes it okay. In its current form, uh, the, the logic, the Kaldari logic, was just more powerful than a Kaldari assault, and that's just that's just crazy because then you completely just doing away with a whole class of uh, one race's assault suits and that's, yeah, that, that's exactly. not what it's all I about. Agree. So, agree. so yes, your point about yes you can mix and match and make suits do what they want is great, that's what, what we want, but at the expense of completely um, uh, doing away with uh, one type of suit because it, it, it'll never match up to another, uh, that's not what we want because that just, that just um, nullifies the diversity. Not, only, not only that, yeah. is that the suit can also do everything. That's what you know. That, that, that's also a bit of a yeah. competitive for quite a few people. Yeah. And I think yeah. the way that they're gonna, I wouldn't say nerf. I'm, I'm not gonna say nerf just yet. I'm gonna say repair. You know, they're gonna fix. They're gonna fix a mistake or an oversight that they have. You know, that they, that they hadn't foreseen. And that's where I reckon. Yeah. It's what it is. I reckon they're gonna they're, they're trying to bring it more into line with the assault being the top end sort of frontline attack suit, the support being behind the the heavy guy supporting the heavy because he's a freaking a marshman at the minute, a free kills everyone on the field, you know. So that's why I reckon they're um, they're doing it. All right, well Booker, um, thanks very much for coming today, dude, and uh, yeah, awesome. Thank you very much for letting me have a chat with you again tonight. Always oh, a pleasure, never a chore. You'll see me in your sights sometime soon what you want what you want